Hello, and welcome to DRQ. This was me at CVX Live back in 2018. And this is a balloon being dipped in liquid nitrogen. It's in liquid form down to negative 210 degrees Celsius. But it's not the coldest liquid. So, what is the coldest liquid element? In this video, I will be discussing elements that are in the liquid state of matter at very cold temperatures. These temperatures are measured at standard atmospheric pressure, and are the range at which the elements are in liquid form. Periodically, I come back to my table of elements. I'm not going to talk about all the elements, so I've just chosen a few to show you. I'm going to give the temperatures in Kelvin, just because I can. Gallium is not toxic, so I can take it out of the bag and show you what it looks like. It has an extremely wide range of temperatures in its liquid state. It melts in your hand, but it won't boil until it gets really, really hot. It's a liquid from 303 Kelvin all the way up to 2673 Kelvin. Here's a video I filmed earlier to give you a closer look of cesium. It's also a solid at room temperature and will melt in your hand. It's a liquid from 302 Kelvin to 944 Kelvin. This is a 100 milligram sample. It has a pale gold color and is one of the most reactive elements. It reacts with oxygen and will explode if it comes into contact with water. So, I'm going to be careful not to break the container. Next is mercury. The element, not the planet. As you can see, it's a liquid at room temperature. Mercury is heavier than lead, so this tiny amount weighs 10 grams. Because it's toxic, it's staying in this container, inside the plastic bag. It's a liquid from 234 Kelvin to 630 Kelvin. The next elements require a special tool in order to see them. This is my globe of science, also known as a plasma ball. Xenon is first up. When you place it next to the plasma ball, it lights up. It's a liquid from 161 Kelvin to 165 Kelvin. Obviously it's a gas right now because this room is way too hot for it to be in liquid form. Now we have Krypton. And no, this is not from Superman's home planet. It's a liquid from 116 Kelvin up to 120 Kelvin. Argon is a liquid from 84 Kelvin to 87 Kelvin. Nitrogen needs a little more extra care to get it to light up. Let me see if I can get it going. Ooh, there we go. It's a liquid from 63 Kelvin to 77 Kelvin. I'm sure you've seen liquid nitrogen at some point. Oxygen is next. I assume you know what oxygen is. This one is really dim. You may not be able to see that. The King of Random has an awesome video where they made liquid oxygen. I never would have guessed that it would be blue. It's a liquid from 54 Kelvin to 90 Kelvin. I had a green neon once. It died of electrical problems and had to be towed away. Speaking of, there's a reason why neon is used for electric signs. This one is my favorite. It has such a nice bright color. It's a liquid from 25 Kelvin to 27 Kelvin. Hydrogen is flammable. But this is such a tiny amount, I doubt it'll be a problem. It's not even enough to make this tube float away. Though that would be fun to see. I wonder how much it would take. Anyway, hydrogen is in liquid form from 14 Kelvin up to 20 Kelvin. This balloon is filled with helium. And you're probably expecting me to suck it in and make my voice go high, but I'm going to be the first person ever to not do that. Helium is a liquid from 1 Kelvin to 4 Kelvin, which means that helium is the coldest liquid element. Actually, helium gets so cold that it has some really strange properties when it gets close to absolute zero. As liquid helium approaches 2 Kelvin, it starts to boil like crazy, and then all of a sudden, boom, it becomes completely still. At that point, it becomes a superfluid and is able to flow right through solids. If you stir it, it'll keep swirling forever. It can defy gravity and flow up and out of containers. Really cool stuff. 
As always, there are links in the description if you wish to learn more about anything discussed in this video. Thanks for watching, and see ya!